Hello dear viewers, I am a global nationalist and today we will be talking about Japan and the assassination of the former Prime Minister Abe Shinzo and about whether his assassin worked alone or was part of a conspiracy. Let's begin. The reason I want to talk about this is because there have been lots of uh, conspiracy theories and opinions and lasses going around about why the former Prime Minister was assassinated. And I want to see what the truth could be. This investigation isn't over yet, but so far certain uh, uh, points have been found, certain uh, things he said that could give us evidence as to why he committed the crime. And basically, I want to see if the conspiracy theories are true or whether there's a simpler explanation for the crime. Let's begin. Actually, let me just go through the whole facts of the assassination. Then I'll talk about the whether it's an assass uh, conspiracy or a lone wolf attack. So he was assassinated on 8th of July. And at that time, he was a serving member of the House of Representatives and was assassinated while speaking at a campaign event in the city of Nara. And the suspect is Tetsuya Yamagami. Yamagami told investigators that he held a grudge against the Unification Church over his mother's bankruptcy and shot Abe out of a belief that he was close to the group. He accused Abe of spreading the church's influence in Japan. Now, uh, whether is this true? Does he have a connection to the church? Well, the truth is he does. Shinzo Abe, as well as his father Shintaro Abe and his grandfather Kishi Nobusuki, had stacked ties to the Unification Church, which is a controversial new religious movement founded by Sun Myung Moon and was based in South Korea. These connections were largely ignored by the Japanese journalists. It was not well known by most people and not considered important by those who knew. In 2006, during his first term, he sent congratulatory cables to the Universal Peace Federation, a church-linked non-government organization. Ten months before the assassination, after his uh, retirement from Prime Minister and in September 2021, Abe broadcast a five-minute speech as part of a UPF rally in which included appearances by former U.S. President Donald Trump and other foreign dignitaries. So we can see that this uh, church was had connections with people all over the world. Not it was nothing. Uh, un, it was not uh, unusual that Abe. Uh, political leader had uh, interactions with this group, with this church. Abe scheduled that day. Uh, Abe was un initially scheduled to deliver a speech in Nagano Prefecture on 8 July 2022 in support of Sanshiro Matsuyama in the upcoming elections, the House of Councillors. That event was cancelled and because of allegations of misconduct and corruption related to Matsuyama. It was replaced by a similar event in Nara Prefecture at which Abe was to deliver a speech in support of K. Sato, an LDP councillor running for re-election. So, uh, yeah, this new schedule was not generally publicly known. This is what the LDP division in Nara Prefecture says. But NHK, which is called the Japan Broadcasting Corporation, is a public broadcaster, reported that the event had been widely advertised on Twitter and by a sound truck. So I'm not really sure what to make of this. I guess the LDB and NARA prefecture themselves did not advertise it, but perhaps the LDB party did do some advertising of it on Twitter and soundtrack but it was probably not uh, like 
wasn't widely known on Twitter. Like, it's not like everyone on Japanese Twitter was aware of this speech he was going to give. And, uh, yeah, so this is the background. Now, one interesting point is that the perpetrator was able to approach within several, several meters despite the presence of security, and he did not resist. At 11.45 a.m., the Japanese government established a liaison office within the crisis management center of the prime minister's office. So uh, this, and he, Kishida later ordered heightened security for high-ranking politicians in Japan, and officers from the security police were deployed to protect Abe's widow, Aki Abe, after she arrived in Kyoto. So this shows that the government at that time was uh, prepared to think that this would be not a one-off attack, but could be a, an attack on the larger government, which is why high-ranking politicians were given heightened security. But uh, we can now say that this uh, fear was not, but that this was proven wrong because no other attacks happened that day or ever since the assassination. How about uh, Tetsuyo Yagmagama? I'll just talk about him, the person. He was described as being calm and having made no attempts to flee after the assassination. He had no prior criminal history. And uh, so, uh, interesting thing to note is that he was a former member of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. He was uh, discharged from the force in 2005 with the rank of leading seaman. So he was a naval officer. Um, so this explains why he had weapons training and knew how to... Uh, make a gun on his own. In October 2020, he started working as a forklift operator. So this shows that this is not a very high-skilled job, so probably shows that he was not uh, very successful in his career, did not get a high-paying, high-ranking job. So probably that added to his stress. And he was described as quiet. He quit in May this year after he was feeling unwell. And he was unemployed at the time of his arrest. So this, the fact that he was unemployed shows that he was probably insecure about his future. Now... This is what... Um, one of the relatives of Yamagami said about him, this relative was a man in his 70s. He told this uh, newspaper called the Asahi Simshimbo that Yamagami has gone through hard times ever since he was a child over a religious group that his mother joined. And he lived at a home in Nara with his parents, an older brother and a younger sister. She was a widow, and I suppose uh, she felt insecure about the family's future, was what the relatives said. Uh, yeah, so his father died during his childhood, and so his mother was insecure. And this is why she became committed to religious activities and donated large amounts of money to the group. And, uh, yeah, basically you should... It's amazing what she did. Uh, his mother had declared bankruptcy in 2002 after making large donations to the Unification Church, uh, which led to him... Yeah, His mother joined the Unification Church in 1998, and in June 1999, she sold the land she had inherited from her father in the house where she had lived with her three children, contributing about 100 million yen to the Unification Church, and went bankrupt. Yamagami researched the church's connection to Abe in the months before the attack, 
and uh, because he found a, the website where he saw that video I talked about where Abis was speaking to them on the video that's what uh, convinced him that Abbe was uh, linked to this church and was promoting it and so that convinced him to kill Abbe and as this relative said I bet he has held a grudge the whole time I think he feels that his life was changed by the group and yeah an interesting thing that uh, Basically, before he had left his job as a forklift in that manufacturing company, in May, in March, he got into an argument with a colleague who told him to follow the rules. It's interesting to see that uh, while he was normally described as in his uh, a job as quiet, towards the end he started getting aggressive and argumentative. So it shows that he was under a lot of stress. And yes, uh, about whether or not his mother was a member, this was confirmed by Tomihiro Tanaka, the chairman of the Japanese Armed Unification Church. And he also said that they have had troubles regarding donations in the past. But since 2009, when the then chairperson issued a statement, our attitude towards the nations has changed and lawyers who uh, represent people who have been uh, led to financial ruin because of their donations to this church while they said that this violence should never be allowed and they condemned the murder they said more attention should be paid to the problems associated with the vacation church including money collected through spiritual sales tactics and yeah so this church is very problematic and uh, I would advise anyone here who's a Christian to probably not go to this church don't uh, until you can be sure that they are not involved in any illegal activities and if they are that those who were or punished and uh, churches cleaned of them so um, yeah uh, to understand the conspiracy angle we have to know that the country that would most likely benefit from uh, Abe's death would be China and this is why Chinese nationalists celebrated Abe's death. The jubilation over last week's assassination underscored more than uh, their hatred for Abe, underscored more their depth of the anti Japan sentiment in China. Uh, basically, um, people in China hate Japan because of the atrocities the Japanese army committed during its World War II era invasion of China. Here one comment stated, we are not qualified to forgive the wicked for the millions of compatriots who died in the war against China in the Nanjing mass massacre. And uh, the Chinese embassy and Chinese government did not want to be associated with this and they offered condolences to his family and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that it should not be linked with China-Japan relations. So, uh, to sh show exactly how extreme this hatred of Japan was, you can see that a Japan-based Chinese journalist who fought back tears during a live broadcast about Abe's death was accused of being unpatriotic on Chinese social media with one commentator saying, I'm baffled to see you crying, or even Chinese. In China hated Japan so much that they were happy to see the uh, death of a former Prime Minister of Japan. Also because, uh, Abe specifically, because he um, was wanting to strengthen Japan's partnership with the US when he was Prime Minister and worked with uh, like-minded democracies, aka the Quad, to create a concept of the Indo-Pacific where China would not be allowed to 
aggress and dominate the region. So is it a lone wolf attack? Uh, we can say this because Tetsuya is the only suspect. If it was a conspiracy, more suspects would have been arrested by now, which is one, almost one week after the incident. And also, he has not mentioned anyone who helped him, so that adds to it. And his motivation is personal. So his motivation is personal. It's not, he's not representing any other person, any other group. Although you could say he is representing the other people who have been, according to them, been victims of uh, financial ruin due to the Unification Church. But he said he hasn't said that. He said he was just acting on revenge for his mother's financial ruin. So this makes it unlikely that he was working in a conspiracy or a group that was politically antagonistic to Shinzo Abe. There's absolutely no proof that he was motivated by politics. Now, why could it be a conspiracy? It's because he created bombs and guns himself. Uh, I'm saying this because not only did he have a, one gun that he used to shoot Abe with, but when the police investigated his home, they found other guns and bombs. That, and I'm surprised that he could build all these things by himself. He might have needed help from others. So that could be a reason to suspect the conspiracy. And the fact that Chinese social media users celebrated Abe's murder uh, could uh, be evidence that a Chinese group in uh, extreme anti-Japan group in China could ha uh, motivate and encourage and pay a Japanese individual to kill Abe. There probably are groups like that in China who would want to do that. So it's a possibility. Um, and there are others who are aggrieved by the Unification Church who might have helped him. This is, a, I think, the most likely conspiracy that this was basically uh, an a, a attack on the church by everyone or most people who were aggrieved by it. And they use him to carry out their message. But really, I just... There's no evidence that it's a conspiracy. There's speculation and possibilities, but no evidence. The evidence is all pointing to it being a lone wolf attack. So I must say that it is a lone wolf attack. Yeah, so what I think happened is that this is just a lone attack. Uh, this was just a decision taken by him, and I don't think anybody else was involved as it is we can see that he was a loner he as far as i know is not married does not have children and uh his mother is still alive and he was just a depressed economically unsuccessful person who had a lifetime grudge and wanted to take it out it was basically had nothing at all to do with Abe's politics. It was something just that he was tangentially linked to. I mean, he was probably not even, he was not even a member of the church as far as I know. He just spoke in it once in a while along with his father and grandfather. And I know that uh, because the church was conservative and his party is conservative, they uh, supported his party but they provided like a political base for the LDP. But more than that, but still, that's such a vague connection. I mean, there are so many organizations in all countries and all democracies that support different parties. You don't, uh, that doesn't mean that those parties are directly involved with them. And yeah, this guy was clearly unstable.
not insane. He understood the consequences of his action, but just that's unstable, ill. It's a complete waste. I mean, it's really uh, for a man like Shinzo Abe, who put Japan on the world stage, got back its economy, stabilized it from the stagflation, the uh, slowdown that it has gone through from the 90s to 2000s and in 2010s he kind of uh, got it back up to speed with increase its economic growth a little and uh, with um, monetary easing and other economic measures and also his push for making Japan a strong militarily powerful country independent country by pushing and promoting the amendment of the constitution article 9 which i've spoken about in a previous video which i'll link to here so, uh yeah he was a great prime minister probably one of japan's greatest this longest serving prime minister and he had no right to kill him just because he spoke in a church that he didn't like that's ridiculous and I I know that Japan has a death penalty and I while I don't favor the death penalty but since Japan has it I think that this would be an appropriate justified reason for putting it on him a justified case for using it I'll just uh, end this video by wishing good luck to the people of Japan and uh, thanking Prime Minister Abe and his now widow for and all his supporters for their service and to Mr. Abe if maybe his spirit is there if I don't believe in them but if that stuff is true if the afterlife is true I just want to say Om Shanti and Thank you for your service.